Step back into the nostalgic world of a beloved American sitcom that left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers, The Brady Bunch. This iconic TV series, which graced screens in the late 60s, holds a special place in the annals of television history. Remembered for its wholesome portrayal of the blended Brady family, the show garnered a dedicated fan base that spans generations. Reflecting on the Brady Bunch, one might wonder, out of the many roles in this classic series, which one was your favorite? The ensemble cast, featuring memorable characters played by talented actors, contributed to the show's enduring popularity. Moreover, classic Hollywood actor involvement added a touch of star power, leaving fans with fond memories. Before we delve into the details, consider this. What classic Hollywood actor in The Brady Bunch was your favorite? The series boasted the talents of seasoned performers, adding an extra layer of charm to the show's narrative. Whether it was a particular character's quirks or a Hollywood legend's cameo, each element played a role in shaping the show's lasting legacy. Now, let's unravel some intriguing facts about the Brady Bunch. Did you know that the iconic Brady House exterior was only used for establishing shots? The interior scenes were filmed on a soundstage, creating a seamless yet fictional world for viewers. Additionally, the series faced initial challenges in securing a network, but once it found its home, it quickly became a cultural phenomenon. As we explore the rich tapestry of the Brady Bunch, we're curious. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share the moments that made you laugh, the characters you resonated with, and the impact this show had on your life. So, what's your favorite role or classic Hollywood actor from The Brady Bunch? And what's your cherished memory? Let us know in the comments your stories add depth to the enduring legacy of this beloved sitcom. The Brady Bunch, a popular TV series from the late 60s, not only entertained viewers, but also left some interesting behind-the-scenes stories. One notable aspect was the influx of fan mail, particularly from children seeking refuge in the Brady household due to troubled family situations. Sherwood Schwartz, the show's creator, responded by reminding them that the Brady Bunch was just a television show, advising them to focus on making the most of their own homes. Adding a personal touch to the series, Sherwood Schwartz's daughter, Hope Juber, made four guest appearances. Her involvement extended to portraying characters like Jenny, a school classmate of Marsha, and later, Rachel Gregg's date in a couple of episodes. Some storylines drew inspiration from Hope's real-life experiences, making it slightly awkward for her to witness events from her life unfold on television. In an intriguing twist, three Brady Bunch cast members, Eve Plum, Chris Knight, and Barry Williams, found themselves in the later sitcom That 70s Show. Eve Plum took on the role of Pam, a successful businesswoman, and Jackie's mom, while Chris and Barry played a gay couple moving in next door to the foremans. These snippets provide a glimpse into the broader impact and personal connections woven into the fabric of the Brady Bunch. It goes beyond the screen, involving the audience, and even integrating the creator's family into the storyline, making it more than just a TV show. Florence Henderson, who portrayed Carol Brady in the iconic TV series, consistently pushed for a storyline where Carol enters the workforce. Despite Henderson's real-life advocacy, the producers opted to keep the character unemployed, emphasizing her involvement in volunteer work and charity fundraising throughout the show's run. This decision reflected the creator's vision for Carol's role within the family dynamic. Interestingly, Florence Henderson, along with Anne B. Davis and Barry Williams, stands out as one of the few actors to appear in all 117 episodes of the series. Robert Reed, who played Mike Brady, missed an episode due to another acting commitment, and he refused to participate in the final episode, deeming its plot as ridiculous. Notably, the six children, excluding Barry Williams as Greg, were each written out of one second season episode as a cost-saving measure. However, this approach was abandoned after initial concerns that it could negatively impact the series. These behind-the-scenes dynamics provide insight into the decisions made by the creators and the actors' commitment to their roles. Florence Henderson's persistent lobbying for a working Carol Brady adds a layer of real-life influence to the show's fictional world. Meanwhile, the challenges faced by the cast, such as Barry Williams being unintentionally stoned during the filming of a specific episode, offer a glimpse into the less glamorous aspects of production. The Brady Bunch, a TV series that left an indelible mark on popular culture, was not just about the on-screen family, but also about the intricate web of decisions and dynamics that shaped its narrative.
the clash between real-life aspirations and fictional portrayals, along with unexpected challenges faced by the cast, contributed to the series' enduring legacy. The Brady Bunch faced uncertain futures throughout its early years, marked by periodic renewals rather than full-season commitments. Marginal ratings led to a cautious approach, with the show only securing 13-episode renewals at a time during its initial four seasons. Cast members, including the six Brady kids, acknowledged the tense atmosphere after each batch of filming, waiting to learn if ABC would greenlight another installment. The show's survival hinged on its popularity among children, sustaining it until its last season. In 2016, Florence Henderson's passing marked a significant transition for the cast. The six Brady kids, Maureen McCormick, Barry Williams, Eve Plum, Christopher Knight, Susan Olson, and Mike Lookinland, became the surviving members of the series. Before her death, Henderson stood as the last surviving member of the three adult leads. Behind the scenes, Sherwood Schwartz employed a unique technique to select child actors. During auditions, he placed a variety of toys on his desk and observed whether the child focused on him or the distractions. This method helped Schwartz identify young actors with the concentration required for a television series. These aspects reveal the challenges and dynamics that shaped the Brady Bunch's journey from uncertain renewals to the transition of its cast over the years. Christopher Beaumont holds a unique record in the history of the Brady Bunch. Among all the actors who graced the show, Beaumont stands out for playing the most characters in different episodes. In specific episodes like Our Son, The Man, The Wheeler Dealer, A Room at the Top, and Quarterback Sneak, Beaumont portrayed four distinct characters, all of whom shared the common trait of being less than amiable. The show's versatility in character portrayals is a testament to the range of actors it brought on board. Beaumont's ability to convincingly embody four different roles adds an intriguing layer to the dynamics of the Brady Bunch. It showcases not only the actor's versatility, but also the show's capacity to explore various narrative arcs through different characters. This multi-character approach reflects the series' commitment to delivering diverse and engaging storylines, adding depth to its overall narrative. While some actors may be remembered for their iconic roles, Beaumont's feat highlights the show's dedication to providing a varied and compelling viewing experience. In the broader context of the Brady Bunch's legacy, this fact about Christopher Beaumont serves as a captivating entry point into the show's exploration of character dynamics and storytelling. The ability to seamlessly integrate actors into multiple roles underscores the show's commitment to keeping its narrative fresh and engaging. Whether it's Beaumont's portrayal of less than likable characters or the broader implications for the show's storytelling, this aspect of the Brady Bunch adds a layer of complexity to its overall impact on television. It's a testament to the creativity and flexibility of the series, making it more than just a typical family sitcom. As we bid adieu to the world of the iconic family that captured our hearts in that memorable series, let the warm nostalgia of the Brady Bunch linger in your thoughts. As you reflect on the whimsical escapades of the Brady family, take a moment to connect the dots between their timeless adventures and the tapestry of your own life. The charm of the Brady Bunch lies not just in its groovy theme song or retro aesthetics, but in the universal threads of family, love, and laughter that weave through each episode. Did you ever find yourself relating to the sibling dynamics or chuckling at the wholesome wisdom of Mike and Carol? Maybe you saw glimpses of your own family chaos in the Brady household. Now it's your turn to share the magic. Whether it's a hilarious mishap that mirrors your own family antics or a sentimental moment that struck a chord, we want to hear about it. Drop your fondest memories, anecdotes, or reflections in the comments below. Let's create a space where fans can come together to celebrate the enduring spirit of the Brady Bunch and the personal connections it forged. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey down memory lane. Your stories make this virtual living room complete. Until next time, keep the Brady vibes alive in your heart.